Well, a Rochester-based organization announcing a Stop the Violence campaign. It's an effort to help curb recent violence in the city. Uniting and healing through hope of Monroe County, planning to reach out to at-risk populations and try to help steer them away from violence. Church leaders, school officials, police agencies, and many others gathering to kick off this campaign yesterday. Organizers say it has to be a collective effort. We're here uh, to come together to finally shine a bright spotlight on some darkness that has been permeating in our community for decades. And we have not put a concerted, consistent effort to combat it to, and to hopefully eliminate it. The group says that it plans on holding semi-annual summits and establishing a, a task force to identify root causes of violence here in Rochester. Well, the University of Rochester Medical Center also talking about gun violence in the city and what can be done to combat it. The keynote speaker, Dr. Eugenia South, an assistant professor from the Perelman School of Medicine, says a lot of it has to do with the lack of resources that are available in certain communities. Oftentimes when I hear people talking about gun violence, um, I hear, what's wrong with those kids? What's wrong with them? Because it, it often is young people, adolescents. What's wrong with them? And that is the wrong question. The question is not wrong, what's wrong with them. The question is what's wrong with our system and the structures that have allowed um, something as terrible as gun violence to proliferate in our black urban communities. Well, Dr. South, adding greater investments in the community and more revitalization projects could help curb an uptick in this violence.